Hi, this is Brett Singleton with Appliance Repair Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to create a free website for your new appliance repair service. So let's get started on that. We're going to go to WordPress.com. WordPress started off as a blogging platform, but now it's become a full-fledged web development platform. Uh, very easy to use, very user-friendly. Come there, start an account. After you do so, it's going to bring you to this page. And once you get there, you'll want to click on My Blog, which will bring you to this page. And from here, you want to click on Pages, because we're going to use this to create some pages instead of just doing all posts like a lot of people on blogs do. After we hit Pages, we'll be directed to this page. This is our dashboard for WordPress, and what you'll want to do is just go ahead and add some basic pages. As you can see, I've got a home, I've got an about, contact, and a blog. This, it's very important that you run a blog for SEO purposes, because Google is going to be much nicer to you if you have fresh content on your site every once in a while. Once we've got our pages created, let's look at how we're going to add some free images to them. Um, as you can see, the home page, I've already got some text in here, pretty good amount. So now I'm going to come over to our site, Appliance Repair Marketing, and I'm going to scroll through the images, pick out the one I want. I think we'll use Circle Front Loader on that one. And we'll just give it a second to load up. Another thing you can do on WordPress, which is really cool, is you can manage themes. Um, today we're going to be using Zorin. Uh, the cool thing about it is that it is mobile responsive, and I'll show you what that means in just a second. It's also a very minimal uh, layout and design, but it's also very professional. It uses a lot of the matte colors. Okay, so we'll come back. We're going to pull our image we want. I think we're going to use the big one, and I think we're going to have it floating to the right side of the page. Float refers to pushing an image to one side or other of the page and having the text wrap around it. Okay, as you can see, when we click in here, it's going to highlight the code we need. We can just come up and hit Edit, Copy, come back to our page over here on WordPress.com, and you want to make sure that you're not in visual mode. Visual is what you see is what you get. When you moved over to text, that's going to let you edit the HTML and work in raw HTML. So what we're going to do is after we're in text, we're going to paste that snippet of code we just grabbed from the Appliance Repair Marketing site. And all we have to do now is update the page. And after it updates, there's no images to upload, no, all, all the links run directly from our site, so the images download from there. And having done that, let's take a look at our page now. And as you can see, now we have images, yay, in our site. Um, needless to say, we have a lot of images for you to choose from. Feel free to use as many as you want to. And here's the nice thing about this WordPress Zorin theme, is that when it goes down to mobile sizes, as you can see, the whole site changes. It shrinks down, becomes smaller, and it also gives you this nice friendly mobile menu. And this is important because Google says almost half of their searches now are coming from mobile platforms. So when you've got people searching for your service, you don't want them landing on a site that's not mobile friendly if you can help it. You want it to be mobile optimized because all the conversion experts say that that's going to help you in actually getting them to call. So anyway, it's that simple to add images. There's one thing more you need to do though to get your site ready if you're using a WordPress uh, platform is that we don't want when people to visit the page we don't want them to initially come to our blogs post. We want them to initially come to a regular home page. So we're going to go into settings and into reading. And as you can see right now, WordPress is set to display our latest post. But we're going to change that. We're going to 
set it to display a static page like the ones we did below here. And then we're going to select which ones we want. Okay, we want our home page to display when people initially come to the site. And then for our post page, we want that to be on the blog page. So we'll set these, come down here to the bottom, save changes. Okay, so now when people initially come to our site, instead of seeing our latest blog post, like you would in a regular blog, they're going to see our home page. Okay, and it's just that simple. Obviously, there are a lot of other things you can learn about WordPress. Um, don't let the domain name scare you off because you can always come in here and get an, your own custom domain name and have it redirected at WordPress.com. Okay, that's it for today. We're going to have more lessons coming up on how to use your WordPress.com site to secure appliance repair business. Thanks. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later.